really excited because we've just received a Luber mini all-wheel drive straight from the Motion factory and just going to open it up now. I haven't been in this box yet. I've seen videos, I've seen pictures of it. I've edited our product page for it, so I know the product really, really well, but I've not had hands-on with one yet. So I'm just going to crack open the box. This product looks fantastic. So it's got essentially all the features that the Luber 2 all-wheel drive machines have it's just smaller um so they do they do an 800 which which this model is and a and a 1500 the main difference is battery capacity and that allows the the, the 1500 has a larger battery and allows it to cover a larger area this is the 800 so perfect for for small lawns it's got the same uh, all-wheel drive system so it can tackle slopes up to 38.6 degrees so if you're if you've got a small garden but it's really really slopey you've got some difficult terrain on it this might be the perfect mower for you so just opened it up here so i'll just tip this towards the camera so this is what you presented with when you open up the box so you've got like a lovely big quick start guide here so that shows you everything you've got in the box gives you a little diagram of the machine tells you what everything is Shows you what all the buttons do and you've got a little checklist of everything that's in the box that's really nice and then on the back you've got your assembly instructions your setup and everything like that this is all on the Momotion app as well but it's great to have a physical version of this as well so that's really really nicely presented okay so now we're inside so again i'll just tip that towards you see how everything comes so it's all so well packaged. If you've, if you've seen a Momotion product opened up before, or you have one yourself, you'll be mm. vaguely familiar with this, but everything's got its own place in this nice solid insert. It's a really small thing, but they've actually improved the polystyrene in it, so the feel of it's better, and it feels like it won't, it won't sort of come away in time, which is really, really good. Let's get out what we've got in here. So, so we've got a little physical product guide. Again, this is accessible in the app, but it's good to have a physical version. We've got the vision module, a 3D vision module there. So it's just got like a little cover there and here it is here. So we'll need to put that onto the machine. They've changed this slightly. So they've changed the connector on here slightly. So it's, a, it's, it's quite a robust connector on now that goes on the machine. So that's nice. We've got the RTK reference station. Here, and you've got the antenna for it as well that just screws in the bottom. We've got the power supply for the base station. Got uh, the accessory kit. So let's just see what comes in here. Okay, so that I believe is the RTK power supply if you're not routing it through the base. And you've got the pegs for the base station. So you've got your, your little screwdriver. This is one of my favorite little tools that you get with any machine. You've got like a little two-piece screwdriver. So you've got one end that is Philip's head and the other end, which it was an Allen head or hex head. Now it's a Torx head. So that means that there must be Torx screws in here somewhere, which is fantastic. And then it just pulls out and clips in. Just a really, really neat little tool. And then these, which I believe are wall screws with the inserts for them. So the the, the stake for the for the RTK, and I'll just get that out now. On this model, not only can it be put into the ground, but it is designed to be mounted to the wall straight out of the box. So you don't need to buy an additional wall mount for it if you want to if you want to put it on the wall, which is a really nice change. And this. This bit goes on to the, the, the stake here, so that screws on there. And then you can see you've got an angled end there, so you can have this on the side of the building. I think there's an extension for it, for it in here as well. You can have that on the side of the building, poking out like that, and then you can angle that to try and help the reference station get clear view of the sky. It's a really, really neat design there. There's a little cowling for the charging station. You get a brush with it now. That's something that wasn't with the, the Luber 2s from 2024. So something for general maintenance, just keep the, the underside of it clean, brush away grass clippings. So that's a nice addition. And then a set of spare blades in six pieces now. Uh, and that, it's a safety key. I'm going to assume it's a spare safety key because there's usually one in the machine. So that's the top layer off there. Ah, I didn't see that there. 
that is the ground stake for the new reference station pole so that just just screws into the bottom there so you can drive that into the ground if you want but i think especially as you're getting wall screws supplied with it most people are going to opt for putting that into the side of a building but either works now we've got the robot itself so there it is sat in the box as you can see some of the assembly that you had to do before is already done for us you don't have to put the bumper on which is a nice change so we've got another polystyrene layer that just lifts out okay and we've got the base station here so nice and compact pretty much what you'd expect it to be so it's got the same kind of charge sprung charging contacts as the the luba 2 um and it's got the same ir sensor on the back so if you don't know the way that the the luba robots dock is there's an ir sensor on the back of the robot and on the base station the robot once it's in range of the base station will turn around line up the two ir sensors and then guide its way into the dock um, so and then it's got the cable already in there that is everything so i'll just get the robot on the table so you've got nice carry handles there with sort of this new yellow accent so yes yeah, so we've got this, this nice yellow accent on the the new louver 2 the larger ones um they've got like a little orange accent on the side of them so they're really easy to tell apart aside at a glance but but there it is so it's physically a much smaller machine than a than a Luba two, um, because it's nice and compact. Uh, it's still quite weight. It's still sort of hefty. It's about fifteen kilos. So here on the top, this is where you mount the vision module. So that just looks like that's just on by a sticker. Oh yeah. So that's that's actually a nice little improvement because the the Luba twos from last year they had this cover on, but it was screwed in, so you had to unscrew that. Then put the vision module on to then re-screw it. Now it's just got a sticker on it instead. So that's good. And this is something that's new as well. So you've got a um, what, what what's referred to by the manufacturer as a supplemental light. So that I'll have to do some testing with it, but that I believe will help the vision module see better in shade in dark. I wouldn't want to say absolutely perfect for night running I, I don't really recommend running any robot lawnmower at night just in case there is any nighttime wildlife or uh, and, and in the morning as well the grass is wet at the early hours but that might help it with that and then another big change so here at the back of the machine so so those are the charging contacts there and now there's actually a removable battery on these mini models so inside there we'll just take that off and as I suspected, yeah, I can see torque screws all over it, which from an end user perspective, isn't going to make that much difference to you. But from a service perspective, it is great because torque screws are just that much easier to work with. So that's a little cover on the back there for the battery. It's just got a little catch on the top. There we go. So 4.5 amp hour lithium ion battery it's got a little charge level indicator on it practically you're probably not going to see that much anyway because you're just going to see the charge status on the app or on the robot so i can see there are four leds here that probably indicate the charge status but that's in there and if you've used any lithium power garden machinery that just goes in in a very similar way so that's good that's already in there i didn't have to fit that the only thing i've got to fit by the looks of it is the vision module because the bumper is already there we've not had our 2025 spec luba 2s yet or as they're now known the the luba 2 all wheel drive x series so those do between 3000 and 10,000 square meters whereas this little one this does 800 and there's another version with a 6.1 amp hour battery that does 1500 square meters but you've got Still got the same omni wheels you've got sort of that nice pivoting axle at the front you've got this these good big uh, thick rubberized tires at the back and underneath another change for this year is you've got six blades on the blade disc and for the luba 2x series 
you get two of these and they are these these six bladed discs as well so that's a nice improvement the cutting motors are improved as well so the cutting motor in this machine is 88 watt uh, in the larger ones they're 165 so um yeah just 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 in, just an improvement all around there really um so you can see more torque screws here um perfect yeah that's exactly what we like to see so just pop that down there so i'll get a shot of everything else in a second but i just want to show you the difference in size this is a luba 2 and you can see straight away the footprint of this machine is much much smaller so it's not quite as long a machine and it's obviously a much narrower machine so if you've got a small garden even better it's not going to take that much space up on your lawn um, and the area coverage is still fantastic up to 1500 square meters so um yeah I, i'm really looking forward to giving that a proper test um but that's 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 an unboxing so if you if you order a luba mini either an 800 or 1500 that is exactly what you can expect to find in the box.